Hi, my name is Tim Schobel, and I'm a NetSuite consultant with Business Solution Partners. And today we're going to be talking about the lead to quote process. And really, this is a sales process that describes the conversion of a lead uh, to a prospect and ultimately to a customer throughout the sales process. So a new lead really represents a potential sale in NetSuite. So I'll show that here. Lists, relationships, leads, new. Say I've, uh, I'm a sales rep, I'm recording a you know, uh, new potential customer here on this form. So I've got this defaulted to the standard lead form here. I can set this up as a company or an individual. I'll set this up as a company. And we'll see here that it's coming in in an unqualified status. So when a lead is uh, viable or qualified, it is assigned to a sales rep. and I can assign a sales rep here if I want to, but I'll just set this up as unqualified, at least initially. And uh, some things to point out about this lead form is that they are, there are some key differences between the lead form and your standard uh, customer form. So um, it's common for you know, little information to be known about the lead other than its name or email address uh, or mailing address at this point in the sales process. Um, you know, a contact is made and the process of qualifying and nurturing the lead is then initiated. During this period, more information can be gathered that is then used by sales reps to actually make the sale. The lead information is tracked here on this lead record. Uh, it's like a prospect or a customer record, but like I mentioned, there's less information. Uh, therefore, the standard lead record contains fewer fields than those required for prospects or customer records. For example, a standard lead form does not include tax-related fields. You also see, if I scroll down here, a qualification sub-tab. And this uh, can include information that is helpful for sales reps when making a sale. I can specify sales readiness for this lead here, hot, warm, or cold. I can specify a buying reason here. I can specify a buying time frame when I expect the sale to be completed. I can enter budget information here, but you might not necessarily see all these fields on other forms. I'm going to associate this with a subsidiary, and I will. Uh, I can also go ahead and enter in any other communication that I receive with this uh, lead, any phone calls, tasks, events. I can attach files here. I can also enter in address information and uh, other basic information here. So I will save this. Some things, by the way, to note about these uh, qualification fields here. These can be found under setup sales CRM lists. These CRM lists can be added to from here. We can add you know, other buying reasons, time frames, um, and other general fields here. If we're tracking win or loss reasons, we can add that here, um, and so on. Okay. So now, I am going to go and create an opportunity associated with this lead. So that's going to be found. I can either uh, you know, go up here to create new opportunity, um, or I can find that under the transaction sales create opportunities. I'm going to keep this record open in this tab so that we can watch uh, how it changes throughout this process. So this is a standard opportunity form. I'm going to associate this with that test uh, lead that I just created. And uh, I'm going to uh, assign this to a sales rep. And I've got statuses here uh, for this opportunity and associated probabilities. Note how this probability will change as I change the status here you'll see it's going up with each uh, successive status change here. I'm gonna leave this at in discussion because we're still at only at the opportunity phase of the sales process, um, because really what this is saying is that we've only just you know, assigned a sales rep. We might not even have had a sales rep assigned to this transaction yet, potentially, but you know, we'll say at this point, we've got a probability of closing of 20%. And once we uh, yeah, enter in the you know, line total uh, for this, opportunity record for the potential sale 
let's say uh, I might buy a few monitors here. Now, let's say they're interested in buying as many as 10 monitors. You can add that line. And we can see the weighted total here is calculated based off of the projected total multiplied by the probability of closing to get us this weighted total of $658. This would be useful in forecasting future sales and um, other sorts of uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, sale forecasting analysis. Regarding these statuses, these can be found here under setup, sales, customer statuses. These uh, stats, as you can see, are uh, specific to the lead, prospect, or customer stages. Depending on the stats that we assign, um, some of these are, you know, they're going to have a, a adjusted um, probability of closing. And these can be edited, um, uh, and we can also create new statuses as well and add to this list. So for now, I'm just going to confirm uh, all the information on this opportunity looks correct. And I will save this. Okay, so this has a status of in discussion, probability of closing at 20%. I'm going to go back to the lead. Let's refresh this record. And we can now see that this has changed. This is now a prospect. The status has changed from uh, lead unqualified to prospect in discussion. We've got the probability of closing at 20%. If I scroll down under the sales sub tab here, I can see the opportunities associated with this lead or now prospect. And now I can uh, get ready to prepare an estimate for this prospect. So from the opportunity record here, I'm just going to go ahead and create an estimate. And the difference between the estimate and the opportunity record is that the opportunity record is used to record a potential sale. The estimate is actually customer facing though, and this is used to, um, uh, this is prepared for your customers to uh, actually uh, be shared with them. The opportunity is an internal document, and this is used by your sales team to track uh, any you know, lead information, uh, other information associated with potential sale. Once we're ready to prepare the actual estimate, this is the point at which it is shared with the prospect. So now we can see that the status has changed here to proposal and uh, uh, appropriately higher probability of closing here. So we can see all this information pulled through from the opportunity record, the sales wrap, the customer, the line information here. Once I've validated that this is all looking correct, I will just save this. And now I'll go back to this prospect. I'll refresh it. We can see that the probability has changed. We're, the status has changed now to pro prospect proposal. Probability is now 50%. And under the sales subtab, transaction subtab, we can see that estimate here. Now, on the estimate record, I have these three options to finalize this uh, sales process. So I can uh, create a sales order, cash sale, or invoice. When I create one of these three sales transactions and associate it with this uh, prospect record, that will be the final stage in converting this uh, from a prospect to a customer. So I'm going to create a sales order. And we can see all the information is pulled through. We can see this is created from the estimate. Here's our line information here. Validate that this is all looking correct. And I will save this. Okay. So we can see the opportunity. We can see the estimate on the sales order. Go back to the prospect record and we'll refresh this again. And we can now see that this is a customer closed one. So this has been converted from a lead to a prospect to a customer, 100% probability of closing. It is closed. Uh, we've won this sale. And if I go over here to sales, I can also see the sales orders here. 
So uh, that really describes the process for uh, lead to quote. Um, a few notes. Uh, in NetSuite, quotes and estimates are synonymous. They are interchangeable. Uh, when I say a quote or when I say an estimate, they mean the same thing. Those are described in the same form. However, usually in NetSuite, um, it, it does appear as estimate. Uh, some customers might want to change um, the name of this record as needed. Another thing to note is that when uh, to convert a lead to a prospect, you need to associate either an opportunity or an estimate with the lead record. That would convert it to a prospect. I could alternatively uh, just create a sales order associated with a lead record and that would skip the prospect stages. That would uh, take the lead directly to a customer state. So leads uh, are really uh, helpful for you know, recording your initial sales information for potential uh, you know, new, new clients. You use this record to you know, track all of that information initially uh, early on in your sales process. And you can use the transactions, opportunities, estimates, and ultimately sales transactions to convert uh, and really nurture that lead through the sales cycle. And that really uh, covers it for lead to quote.